Germany has condemned the killings of civilians in Bucha as terrible war crimes that cannot go unanswered. Vice Chancellor and Economy Minister Robert Habeck says Berlin is preparing fresh sanctions together with its European allies. I strongly believe that we can go much further. We have seen how effective the sanctions are. We have also seen where sanctions have potentially been able to be circumvented. We have seen where we can impose more bans on technical goods and thus further destabilize and weaken the Russian economy. And I assume that this will also be reflected this week in a further fifth large sanctions package. The German Vice Chancellor speaking a short time ago. DW's Chief Political Editor Michaela Küffner is joining us. Michaela, I understand there are breaking developments that you can share with us. Yes, absolutely, because we've seen Robert Habeck um, once again hold a press conference, an impromptu one, announcing that Gazprom's German operations, Gazprom Germania, would effectively be disowned and uh, in the trust of the German network agency um, as of uh, last week until the end of September, at the very least, I add, uh, to ensure energy security here in Germany. That is quite a remarkable step. That means the gloves are clearly off. Also on the German side, when it comes to energy security, using energy as leverage, and this is after Gazprom announced it would sell its German infrastructure provider here, uh, Gazprom Germania, on Friday, uh, then disclosing who the buyer would be. But there was no transparency who is behind that. And that has now prompted this, under German law, legal um, operation by the German government uh, effectively uh, putting Gazprom's German infrastructure operations, which include gas storage, under German agency control. So a remarkable step, with Germany still drawing the line, though, uh, when it comes to an energy embargo. Um, we again uh, heard from the German Chancellor, but also Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck, who's also the energy minister, that this simply would be too damaging. But clearly, as we await that fifth sanctions package, uh, the scope of that um, could potentially become wider and wider. Indeed. And in anticipation, um, again, Germany has come under a lot of criticism for its uh, refusal to uh, support uh, a complete embargo on Russian energy imports. Uh, a short time ago, earlier in the day, the Polish prime minister weighed in and he accused Germany of being the biggest break when it comes to tougher sanctions, essentially uh, saying that uh, the uh, it's not the voices of German companies, German billionaires that should be heard loud in Berlin today. It's the voice of these innocent women and children, the voice of those murdered that should be heard. He is not mincing his words there. Has there been a response to that type of criticism being leveled against Berlin by Poland? Well, the response here in Germany so far is that, look, there has been uh, this uh, turnaround uh, just days after the Russian invasion and that, yes, Germany is moving f very fast, but clearly eastern states, uh, first and foremost Poland, but also the Baltic states, are uh, seeing a lack of leadership when it comes to uh, facing up to Russia. But since that statement, we've now heard this announcement from uh, Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck, which clearly goes goes into the direction of taking those gloves off and squaring up uh, to what is seen as Russian interference that is expected to continue, particularly when it comes to critical infrastructure as well. Uh, but still mounting criticism that may become less loud, yet it's still there here in Europe. DW's uh, chief political editor, uh, Michaela Kufner, reporting there on breaking developments. Thank you.